right, guys. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Longer Ray 5 10 watt laser sent over to us by our friends at Z Banks. I think I'm saying it right, Z Banks, Z B A N X. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the box, see all the components, and put it together and see what it can do. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we got everything unpacked. So the Longer Ray 5 10 watt is a touch stream system. So that's the touch stream. Got your power supply. Got your 10 watt laser. Got your screws, bolts, and timing belts. There's your gantry. And there's your body of the laser. There's your glasses. And your instructions. So what we're gonna do it, we're gonna go ahead, do a little YouTube magic, get this thing assembled. Just like that. The long ray 5 10 watt laser put together. Got your controls here. You can move your laser just by pressing the buttons. Home it. Oh man, she's pretty nice. Pretty easy to put together. Gotta trim some zip ties, but other than that, she's ready to go. Let's see what she can do. All right, guys. So today we're going to be testing canvas on the Long Ray 5 10 watt laser. We're going to start off with an 8 by 10 canvas. We're going to lay down a coat of Rust Oleum Gloss White. We're going to start at the bottom, work our way all the way up to the top, and come back down. Make sure your paint is shook up very well. We're going to start at the bottom. Nice, even, overlapping coat. Just let it flow. All the way up the canvas, even overlapping. Then come back down. All right guys, we're gonna let this coat dry for about two and a half, three hours. Then we're gonna come back and hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, it's been about three hours. Now we're gonna put on our coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Let's see it shook up. One even overlapping coat. Want an even coat? All right, guys, we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna go ahead and gimp and light burn and get everything set up. All right, guys, this is the image that we chose to engrave today. I've seen it like a thousand times on different laser engraving uh, forums on Facebook. So I decided to give it a try. This image has already been edited to be engraved by the great person who uploaded it on the Facebook page. I appreciate you. Um, I do not sell anything that i be engraving uh pretty much just for a teaching teaching and showing the capabilities of the laser um this image has a lot of different contrasts a lot of whites grays and blacks so it'll be perfect to show what the longer ray 5 10 watt laser can do first thing we're going to do with this image is scale it so you'll go to image scale image and you will scale it to an 8 by 10 so you hit pixels change it to inches and you will hit eight by 10, hit scale. Boom, there we go. So it's scaled to an eight by 10, that's very important. So you don't lose resolution and you don't have, you know, stress lines or just look like the image is pixelated into that. So make sure you always scale it to the material that you're gonna be engraving on. All right, from there, we're gonna be running the big Gimp plugin. We're gonna be using tile. We're gonna be using a DPI, a 304. It's your choice. Um, 304 to 317 gets the best quality for images like this. Uh, I used to use 254 a lot because um, it depends on the laser that you're using and you know what I mean? If the dot of the laser is very small, you can get away with using more DPI. If it's bigger, you'll use less just so you don't overwhelm the picture. Um, maximum image width is 210, which is almost eight inches and the maximum height is 260 so that's a little bit over uh, eight by ten we're gonna hit okay boom there we go we're gonna go to file and we're gonna export as and we're gonna call it native american 
I'm gonna hit export. I'm gonna hit replace. Make sure your quality is at 100%. Hit export. Boom, there we go. We're gonna load it into Lightburn and we're gonna get ready to start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, we got our image loaded into Lightburn. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go our cuts and layers tab and look at our settings for this engraving. All right, guys, so we're gonna be using a speed of 9,000 millimeters per minute and we're gonna be using a max power of 37 and a half percent. We're gonna be using pass through and that's it. That's our settings for this engraving. Gonna hit OK. Gonna get our engraving. Gonna right click it. We're gonna go to preview. Boom. One hour, seven minutes, and 45 seconds. This is going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around. We're gonna get everything lined up. Then we're gonna get ready to start this amazing burn. All right, guys, our canvas is dry. We got everything set up. Before we start this amazing burn, I wanna send a shout out to my subscribers. We have reached just over 7,000 subscribers on the way to 10,000 and we will get there. So if you're watching this content right now, please like, comment, share, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And my patrons, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the number one MVPs. I appreciate y'all supporting me and supporting my channel. If you're interested in the longer ray 5 10 watt laser, look at my description section. I will have a link for that. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and shift the frame to make sure we got everything set up correctly. It's looking good. All right, guys. I'm finna get ready to go ahead and start this thing. Y'all stay tuned for this amazing burn. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing. <laughs> 